What does it mean when even the most dedicated Bitcoin holders start selling? Uh, the Bitcoin long-term holder supply, which refers to the coins held by investors uh, for over 155 days, uh, has been on a decline recently. This group, uh, known as the long-term holders, uh, is considered the stubborn part uh, of the uh, BTC uh, market. Uh, but despite their resilience, uh, they've been participating uh, in a sell-off. The LTHS are one of the two main divisions of the BTC market based on holding time with the other being the short-term holders or STHs. The longer an investor holds onto their coins, the less likely they become to sell them. But the recent sell-off by the LTHs has been significant. The 30-day change in the total supply held by these LTHs has been negative recently, indicating a decrease in the number of long-term holders. This trend has been ongoing in fact at ND since the approval of spot exchange traded funds that is ETF by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in January. Uh, the, sharpest, uh, the sharpest plunge in the metric occurred during the rallying towards a new price all-time high, indicating that even the diamond hands who tend to accumulate large gains gave in to the allure of profit taking. Uh, despite the bearish price action BTC has been going through recently, uh, the indicator has continued to move down. Uh, uh, this lack of growth in the LTH supply uh, could imply the presence of market-wide pessimism. However, it's worth noting that the Bitcoin LTH also participated in sell-offs at the middle of the last two bull runs. So, the recent distribution from the LTHs may not necessarily be a bad sign in the long term. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, and remember, even Bitcoin holders need a good laugh sometimes. Why don't we call Bitcoin blockchain-based decentralized digital cash instead? It's a mouthful, but at least it's accurate.